relatively straightforward as long as you follow the steps that are in my slideshow here. I highly recommend you format the first one perfectly and then create the style based on that setting. However, one of the greatest benefits of using styles is that you can modify the style and whatever you decide to change will automatically flow downhill into all of the objects that are linked to that style. So there are multiple, there are always multiple ways to do the same thing in InDesign and every other graphic art software application for that matter. Modifying styles is no different. There are basically two different ways to modify your styles. I'm going to cover both, but I'm going to highly recommend one over the other. So the two basic options for modifying styles are you can modify one instance of the style. So you can say, I'm going to modify the star. And then redefine the style to override the original settings and accept the updated ones. What will happen is when you modify a style, you'll get a plus sign like you see here next to basic graphic frame. And that's telling you that whatever you have selected has a different setting than what has been saved. Once you right click the style, so you see the little plus sign and you say, okay, well, I changed my star to be yellow instead of blue. You can right click on the style and say to redefine the style based on what you have selected. I don't like this option. I think it gets confusing, but you can use it if you want to. The better option, in my opinion, for people just getting started working with styles is to deselect everything. Make sure that nothing on your workspace is selected and then double click the style that you wish to modify from the styles panel if you're choosing. So in our case, we're going to modify an object style. So you would double click beveled circle logo and it would launch a dialog box that allows you to make changes for that style. And so we'll go through both options. So the first is to create your beveled circle logo. So you see it here. And in this case, instead of making it yellow, I changed the stroke on the outside. So I modified the first example. With that object selected, you can see that the beveled circle logo has a plus sign in the right hand corner. That's saying that the settings that are saved are saved for this look here on the left hand side. But you've changed it and it's different. You can right click and you can choose to redefine the style based on your change. So redefine it based on the squiggly stroke. And if you redefine the style, every instance of the style will automatically update. So you can see here in my screenshot that all of the other shapes automatically have the squiggled background. 